Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Zoom with your students. So I've downloaded the app, the desktop app, to my computer. It's really best to use the desktop app if you are using it on a computer. Um, so you'll see from the home window I can use uh, create a new meeting. I can join a meeting if I have a join code. I can schedule a meeting for the future and I can also share my screen. So you need to see I need to join a meeting. You'll also see that I can chat, so I can find people here in our school district with to chat. Um, so that would just be a text type chat. So maybe if they want to message you and say, hey, let's get in a meeting, they can do that. You can see any scheduled meetings you have listed under meetings. And you can also see your, your contacts. So you can see anyone who is in Prince William County as a teacher listed. All right, so let's show you how, uh, some of the features in a chat room. So I'm going to go into my personal room. You will see uh, when you get in, I can join the audio and I'm going to join with computer audio. I also want to start my camera. Hi guys. Um, you can choose if you have different cameras, you can choose different cameras. If you have different audio options, you can choose different audio options. So if, like for me, I have a mic built into these headphones, so I might want to use that. But I also have an external camera plugged in, so I could switch to that microphone if I saw fit. So you might just want to play with your microphones and see which one's best, play with your cameras and see which one's best. The next thing you'll see is security. So you're going to decide, are you going to have a waiting room or are you going to lock the meeting? And that means no one can um, come back in. Um, also, what, when you uh, allow participants, do you want them to be able to share their screen? Do you want them to be able to chat? And do you want them to be able to unmute themselves? So if you want to keep everyone quiet, you could just unmute them, check, un, un, uncheck, unmute themselves, and they won't be able to unmute themselves. Um, you know, for some parts of a lesson that may be appropriate. For most, we want that interaction. That's why we're in Zoom. Um, if you would want to stop the chat, you could undo that, and then they could stop the little side chat. Um, and then, of course, keep share screen unchecked unless you are actually having students share their screen. The next one is participants. You'll be able to see a list of participants that are in the room. You'll also, um, if someone else is in the room, you'll see more choices when you click more. You can remove a student, you can turn on their camera off, you can mute them. So that's helpful to just be able to manage those specific students. The chat, you'll be able to see any chat that's happening between um, in the room. And the chats are with everyone. Students can't one-to-one -one chat. That's been turned off by the district. You can share your screen and you can decide does only one person share at a time or do you want multiple people multiple people to share at a time. That's okay, they could do that. You can do polling. So you can actually arrange these polls before, um, before you actually meet with the students. So when you set the meeting up, you can create the poll, but you can also create a poll on the fly. So I'm gonna add a question and you'll see that what it will actually do is it's actually gonna open a new tab where I'm gonna make those questions. So it's gonna go into my meeting you're going to have to, I can create a meeting poll. Uh, do you like cheese? Yes, no, you have to have at least two answers. The only types of questions you can have are single choice or multiple choice. And then you can add additional questions. And then you're going to give this a poll, a title, favorites. Uh, I'm going to delete this question. I'm just going to have a single question and I'll save. And then you'll see that now the poll is here and I can launch the poll and then it will show up on every student screen. And you'll also see in real time um, their responses. There'll also be, when there's people in the room, a link down here that says share poll results and you'll be able to click that and they'll see all the results up on their screen at the end. And then when you're done with the poll, you just say end poll. So the polling feature is really great. You know, entrance ticket, exit ticket, that's a great thing to do. There's that share results thing. All right, reactions. Um, if you have that turned on in your settings, you can allow people to give a thumbs up if they agree uh, or clap. And then under more, you have some more options. Um, so you may want to record your meeting to the computer or to the cloud. Closed captions um, is there, but we don't actually have any third party thing built in quite yet. So you can't do that. 
and you can use breakout rooms. So breakout rooms allow you to split the class into groups and they can each go to their rooms and talk about, you know, discussion that you have set. Uh, so that's basically kind of a tour of Zoom. If you have any questions, obviously leave them below or ask in our Facebook group.